Hey guys, this is TechRN, and I'm going to be doing this tutorial on how to use the DC output function of the Omni 20. I'm going to be using the Dell XPS 15, that is the 2017 version with the full HD screen, the 1080 screen. And I will also be using my MacBook Pro, the 2015 13 inch version that I've been using for a long time. This thing is my primary workhorse, and it's really a good demonstration of the usage of the Omni 20 because it's it's realistic, it's authentic. I use this Omni Charge and the MacBook together basically almost every day. So I'm hoping this video will be educational and let's start off with the 2017 XPS 15. So I'm just showing here how you can play video games on it depending on the graphics and the frames per second you're expecting. It has the 1050 card and it just has this really nice edge to edge infinity display they call it. So the first thing we need is we need to know the voltage that your device requires for charging. So, if we take a look here in the XPS 15 panel, it's going to show us that it requires 19.5 volts. It's really good to get your voltage on your laptop from the bottom of the device or wherever it is because if you get it from the charger, if it's a charger that isn't the factory one that you maybe bought used or something, it could have the improper voltage selected. So on the low end of voltage, it could cause you to give it too little power, and if it has too much voltage, you could overpower the device and cause damage. So let's take a look at navigating the DC output menu. To get into the menu, the first thing we're going to do is double click the power button, like so. A single click will take us into the DC settings, and another single click, like I showed you there quickly, will take us into the DC output last setting. Also we have these presets here that OmniCharge nicely put in for us. Now to set the voltage, you can scroll up and scroll down with the side buttons, that USB and that wall outlet button, or you can do single clicks. So I'm selecting 19.5 volts. And yes, there's that warning I showed you. You really need to be sure you have the right voltage. And once you do, you just exit out of it. And when you get it all hooked up and plugged in, as I'm going to show you, it will effectively charge your device. So here with the device in the sleeping mode, you're going to take a look at the screen and you're going to see that it's drawing about, about 62.5 watts or so via the output of the DC from the from the Omni Charge. And so I'm just pressing this little side button that the XPS handily has to show you that the battery is going and everything. But I do want to show you something. I used this XPS 15 to show you that sometimes you'll get devices that are too powerful for the Omni Charge to handle. What I mean by that is that DC output is limited to 70 watts. So once it gives a, gets above 70 watts, the Omni Charge is going to power off the, the DC output function in a safety mode as you're about to see. It's going to show a little triangle with a warning sign inside that shows OP, that means overpowered. So in this case, you can't really charge and run the XPS 15, but you can still plug in a wall charger into it as long as it maintains a wattage lower than 100 watts, because 100 watts is the limit of the Omni 20. So in the case of this um, XPS 15, 130 watts is the max that is required for it to charge when it's under heavy load, like playing games or something. So for general productivity and tasks, you will be able to run it. So I'm just showing you their freedom. With the Omni Charge Omni 20, you don't need to be next to a wall to plug in the Omni Charge, I mean to plug in your device, which is nice. So even if you do have to take your wall charger like this around with you, at least you can still be away from the wall. Now here I'm just showing you on the MacBook 2015 13 inch, MacBook Pro 2015 13 inch, that it shows the voltage right there, 16.5 volts that is required. So now that we know the correct voltage, we need the correct cable. So in this case, we are selecting a MagSafe 2 to barrel cable from the OmniCharge. Here are two different sizes. The smaller one is what comes with it from the Amazon store or their own store. So here we're just selecting the correct settings again, 16.5 volts for the MacBook Pro 2015 13 inch and getting it all plugged in and set up. So these two devices have been cool to work with. I hope they have helped be a good demonstration. I'm going to have another follow-up video soon that shows a bunch of different devices being plugged in with their different voltage requirements, ones ranging in price from like $400 and on up. So thank you so much, and I hope you check out your, my other videos. Up in the right-hand corners, I've been showing little flags and stuff with my other videos, and also on this page right now where I'm talking on, there should be other video suggestions showing my full-length, like 20-minute Omni 20 review video and other such videos. And also down in my uh, description or in the comments, I have the link to my Amazon store to show um, for the sale of the Omni 20. So thank you so much for your time, you guys. It's been a pleasure, and please subscribe and like for more. Take care.